Hello guys, it's Emil here. Welcome to episode three. I mean, sorry, episode four of this um, type of fish series. So there'll be more episodes and I'll put them all into a playlist. Um, but yeah, so we're, so I just came back from uh, Nicole's Pet Centre, the meeting, to get um, some fish. So we have got, uh, we've got a rainbow shark and a peacock. So we're just going to put them in. Now I've already let them, the bag float in here for half an hour. So, but first of all, we need to put in stress coat and stress zyme. So the stress zyme is just um, uh, live bacteria to, um, has live bacteria, reduces aquarium, but net, uh, I don't know what that is, but anyways, um, I'm pretty sure if you go onto API's YouTube channel, you'll find how to set up an aquarium. I can tell you. Oh, I forgot to read the directions. Use weekly for healthy. Yeah, we know. Shake oil. Well. Add five mils per ten US gallons, which is ten, which is thirty-eight liters of water. Now we've got thirty-three liters of water, but I'm just going to do five mils. Yeah, I hate these caps. I wish they could like have a like a pulley thing that you could pull. But I've got it. Now this is the thing I really like about API water conditions. I mean, not all conditions, all of their products, because I have a dosing cap, so it's super easy. We're just gonna fill it up to five mils. And we're just gonna pour it into our aquarium. Put our lid back on. And then we're gonna put a stress coat again. I already opened stress coat when I was conditioning the water. Now, uh, I think I think that's it. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna open this bag. Oh wait. Um, I think this is a bit too big, Nick. But uh, I think I can just. Use my hand. I just whip my hand so I don't pick it up. Yeah. Yeah, just tight with the rubber band. Oh, I know. I did it the wrong way. <laughs> I did it the wrong way. I should make it even tighter. But don't worry. I think I should be fine. Bag, actually. I think that'll be 
because we don't want to drop the plastic into the fish tank. Otherwise we're just polluting the fish tank. And so I don't think I dropped any in there. I can open the bag now. Now I know the fish are starting to freak out. But now I wonder how I'm gonna get the fish out of there. I think I'm not using me. Yeah, I think I might use a net. It's a net. No, it is too big. <laughs> because I know the water's going to flood if I just pour it in. So this might be a bit of a problem. I might go ahead and ask my assistant to get a bucket. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. What right, guys? into the bucket first. to the other aquarium. This is really weird, but this is how I'm going to do it. Out. Up you go. Open it. Open the door. Good. Now clearly that guy's having a bit of trouble. That's fine. Okay, now clearly I need to turn off the power. Because the minimum they go um it's gonna my thingy will mount what's that called what's that thing that called that you have to submerge your water oh yeah my filter will mount so i'm just gonna pump up some more water now it's a big hill so the water's okay i'm just gonna tip it all in Actually. 
Yeah, that should be enough water. We're at the minimum line. So, that one should be good. Oh, I can't find my fish anymore. Okay, okay, one's stuck behind there. Can you guys stop hiding? Yeah, I'm just gonna just put in this rock. Yeah, that guy's freaking out. I'm gonna feed them today. Yeah, I'm gonna feed them. First of all, I'm just put this plant. So they can just like hide. Yeah, this is a problem guys, you see with these new tanks. The fish just like hide in there. But I think it's gonna come out eventually. Just trying to push in my plant. Yeah, that guy has to come out. Then I'm gonna... Also, I'm gonna turn on the light. Try and find that other fish. That fish is there, but I can't see the shark. Well, I'm just gonna take out all the decorations right now. Just have to just feed them. I wonder if once they see their food. Yeah, I'm gonna feed them right now. Yeah, I think he's up. He's under the. He's, oh yeah, he's right there. Yeah, that he's right there. He's behind the filter. Just gonna feed that guy since. I can clearly see he's freaking out. Feed a pellet. Turn on the light. Where in the world are my fish? Okay. Okay, so he's under the rock. Yeah, he's right there. So I'm gonna try to get the fish as the food as close as possible. So he can eat it. Yeah, he's under the rock. I need to move the rock so we can see him. Yeah, there he goes. I wonder where's the other fish. I bought two. So it's not having the food. Okay, I'm going to put the fish on. I'm going to take out all the rocks. Okay. 
so I'm gonna keep everything out until he stops hiding because I don't want fish to be hiding all the time. I'm gonna do a bit of berry now. I'm gonna actually berry this thing. Somewhere. So he can hit it. Yeah, I think before I was trapped from the big rock. I'm gonna actually put this rock back in now because it's not in that location. It's actually next to the other fish, next to the heater. I'm gonna put in this rock again. Now that will float, so it's not like that heavy, but it's good enough right now. Just trying to make sure there aren't so much gap so he doesn't keep hiding. Hiding in this barrel. Like, like somewhere where he should hide. Try to find him. Oh, he's right there, back where his hiding spot is. Okay, so I know he likes that place, and it looks like he likes that place. So I'm gonna try to, I'm just gonna give you a um, couple, like roughly 20 seconds for you to have a look at the fish tank with the scared fish. Apologies, you won't be able to see the shark, but they're hiding, so yeah. Like maybe like next week I'll do maybe like another video too just and hopefully next week they settle in.